when I look to you, I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. God, I look to you. You're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom. You know, Lord, you know just what to do. God, I look to you. God, I look to you. Come on, sing it. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. Lord, I look to you. You're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom. You know just what to do. And I will love you, Lord, my strength. And I will love you, Lord, my shield. And I will love you, Lord, my rock. Forever, all my days, I will love. I will love you, Lord, my strength. And I will love you, Lord, my strength. Sing it to him. And I will love you, Lord, my shield. And I will love you, Lord, my rock. Forever, all my days, I will love you, Lord. God, I look to you. God, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision, that's what we need, Lord, to see things like you do. God, I look to you, you're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom, you know just what to do, and I will love you, Lord. It's here, the book we've been waiting for, Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us, a complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like, how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we join our faith with your people on this morning. You said, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God, and you will give it freely. Give your people wisdom this morning. Give them understanding. Strengthen them. Encourage them. Bring direction into their lives. David said, your word, O Lord, is a lamp unto our feet and a light to our pathway lift their burdens comfort their hearts uplift their spirits this morning give them a breakthrough give them a miracle give them a turnaround we look to the hills from whence come at our help on this morning our help comes from the lord which made the heavens and the earth we look to you this morning god answer our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray somebody say amen. So on this morning, the word of the Lord to you is, you will break through. As we continue in the book of Joshua, Joshua was a man of faith and 
action. Are you hearing me? Faith without works is dead being alone. So God released the winning strategy to Joshua and told him exactly what they needed to do to see the walls of Jericho come tumbling down. Joshua was excited. He was thrilled. He was elated that his answer had finally come. Listen, you would be you would be elated as well if your backs were against the wall and you know you're walking in obedience to God and it took a while and all of a sudden there's a breakthrough. There is the answer from the Lord. So God told him, for six days, march around the walls of Jericho once each day, allowing the priest carrying the allowing the priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant to be in the front with the trumpet blows, but don't allow nobody to shout or make a sound whilst this procession is going on. Do this for six days straight. But on day seven, I want you shift your strategy, Josh. On day seven, I want you and the priests and everybody to march around the walls of Jericho seven times. And after you march the seven time, I want you to give a great shout and the walls will come tumbling down. This only could be God because from a natural sound, from a natural standpoint, this this sounds like madness. This almost sounds like nonsense. But you see, faith does not always make sense. God does not always make sense, but he always makes faith. Are you hearing me? Can you imagine Jesus telling the men with the water pots, fill the pots to the brim with water? It, it, sounds, like, it sounds so foolish. But after they obey, it's always after you obey. And there's a group of people out there. You want to get a miracle from God. God on your terms. It doesn't work that way. If you are going to get a miracle from God, you have to come on his terms. You have to be willing to look foolish in the eyes of everybody else. Those same people who are laughing at you now, when the answer comes, they'll be trying to rub shoulders with you. Look at Noah. They made fun of Noah. They said Noah is crazy. But guess what? When the flood came, oh, they were screaming and wanted to get in, but it was too late. So you just got to be willing to obey God. Jesus said, if a man loves Loves me, he will obey my words. Now watch this. So this brings us into the book of Joshua, chapter six, verse fifteen through twenty. So the Bible says in Joshua six fifteen, on the seventh day, the Israelites got up at dawn and marched around the town as they had done before. But this time, my God, they went around the town seven times in raw obedience to God. So look, you might have prayed the first time and nothing happened. You prayed the sixth time and nothing happened. I dare you to pray about it again and keep on believing God. You got to knock and keep on knocking. You got to ask and keep on asking until the breakthrough comes comes. Are you listening to me? The Bible says the seventh time around, as the priest sounded the long blast on their horns, Joshua commanded the people, shout glory to God, for the Lord has given you the city. Shout somebody. Your answer is here. Your breakthrough, she come on the Messiah. Glory to God. Your breakthrough, my God, you, get, you want to get happy. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. You should get happy. My God. Now watch this. He said, shout. You've been waiting a long time for this moment. Glory to God. Can you imagine those people who didn't make a sound for six days? And on day seven, God said, now is the time. Shout. Glory to God. God, for the Lord has given you the city. The breakthrough moment is here. My God, the Bible says Jericho and everything in it must be completely destroyed as an offering to the Lord. Only Rahab the prostitute and the others in her house will be spared, for she protected our spies. Do not take any of the things set apart for destruction or you yourselves will be completely destroyed and you will bring trouble on the camp of Israel. 
Everything made from silver, gold, bronze, or iron is sacred to the Lord and must be brought into his treasury. When the people heard the sound of the ram's horns, they shouted as loud as they could. All of a sudden, the walls of Jericho collapsed. They came tumbling down and the Israelites charged straight into the town and they captured it. Somebody shout this morning. Just give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. This is your moment of breakthrough. You will break through. You will break through. Come on and open your mouth and praise him. Let everything that I brought give him praise. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Shout unto the Lord. Shout unto the Lord. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, sing it. You have won the victory. Sing it to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. You want it all for me. You have won it all for me. And death cannot hold you down. You are the risen. You are the risen King. See it. You see it in majesty. My God. You are the risen King. Come on and sing it to the Lord. Hallelujah. You have won. You have won the victory. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. You will break through, saints. You will. My God, he's given someone a breakthrough this morning. Someone's getting a breakthrough right now. Come on, just lift your hands to heaven. Somebody's getting a breakthrough right now. Come on. Father God, we pray over your people right now. We cover them in the blood of Jesus. We thank you this morning that someone has broken through on this morning. Someone's answer came from the Lord on this morning. God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor, God. We magnify you. We lift you high. We thank you for the breakthrough. Somebody give him praise for the breakthrough. We thank you for the breakthrough. We thank you for turning it around in the name of Jesus. Thank you for stepping in, answering our prayer, and making a way where there seems to be no way, God. We thank you. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity on this morning to sow seed into the ministry, to support the work of God, and to do so, you can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. Paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. Our Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. And listen, we want you to join us on tomorrow as we talk about sin will cost you to lose every time. You don't want to miss that broadcast 
on tomorrow. God bless you. We love you. Take care. Listen, I'm asking you to share this video with at least three of your friends that you know need a word of encouragement. I want you to help me get this message to them, to build them up, to lift them up. Share this with your friends on WhatsApp, on YouTube, on Facebook, Facebook Messenger. Send, send this link to them. Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, LinkedIn. Just send it around the world to all your friends on social media. Help us get this gospel around the world. You are helping win souls to the Lord Jesus Christ.